what what do you mean what how is it a lie that jesus expressed love we're not we're not talking about love okay let's let's put but, that aside. No, but that, we're talking the new about is a lie but the new yes, testament is all about yes love. how okay that's a whole nother topic because it, it's not about love it if you tell me, the hold on, them, let me right? let me just let me just say this it's yeah. not about love because the character tells you to hate your mother and your father and yourself to follow him okay and it's not about love because he tells you to uh hold on my brother let me finish speaking because also he tells you to uh resist not evil and whoever hits you on your right cheek turns him the other also that is not love that is oppression and wickedness and evil fam that's not love so if somebody so, if hold on if a random person came up to me and they just randomly said to me if you want to be down with my clique and my crew you got to hate your mother your father even yourself to follow me and then also he says also to follow me whoever beat you whoever hit you on your right cheek you got to turn to him the other cheek also that would not sound like love to me fam does that sound like love to you if somebody you, randomly you came a, up to you and said that you have a worldly mind i see so look no fam, so, hold on fam yeah, i don't you, have you, a word i let you speak i let you speak i let you speak it's my oh. turn now because i'm a, at this point i'm forget everything you said so listen you hold on, let you, me cut. No, listen, listen, listen. So I'm listen, telling listen. you text you for that's the text, fam. Yeah, exactly. And I'm gonna break down the text since you don't understand my text. So listen, all he's saying is accidents happen. Turn the other cheek because of the simple fact that we live in a world where people just get so angry off of stupid stuff. And so off the simple fact is enemies enemies can be anybody that is not associated with you everything is not lit you can show me the text all you want i'm breaking the text down to you because you don't understand it love for your enemies you know what i'm saying how can okay if we don't come at peace with russia and china soon what do you think finna happen with america let me ask you that fam you telling me i don't understand the text you have any i'm clearly you haven't read the text i'm glad you read this one go ahead read it for me please so Right here, JC is saying, you have heard that it has been said an eye for eye and a tooth for tooth. Where is he quoting that from? New Testament. I'm the Old Testament. The Old Testament, which yeah. tells you, okay, it tells you here, if a man cause a blemish in his, in his neighbor, as he have done, so shall it be done to him. Breach for breach, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Mm -hmm. As he have caused a blemish in a man, so shall it be done to him again. So this is the law that never changes, mind you, okay? Mm -hmm. The Most High's word stands forever. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change, okay? And, and do not add to his word, he says also. So mm -hmm. now the New Testament character is now saying, hey, you heard what the Most High said, right? In verse 38. But now in verse 39, he says, but I say unto you. So he's adding and changing and he says you resist not evil and now whoever smites you on your right cheek turn to him the other also because the original law said whoever basically smites you or hit you they got to get hit too that's the law and that's the law that doesn't change so now jc is changing the law and now he's saying it's okay if somebody basically put their hands on you don't put your hands back turn to him the other cheek also and let him hit you so if somebody came up to you and just smacked you out of the blue, what, what are you going to do? I can care less, honestly. You going what? I can care less, honestly. Depending on what happens, what happens. So, okay. So, fine. Let's, let's leave it right there. So if they smack you, you gonna, you're not going to care less. Now, the person goes into your house and starts taking your money and your goods. What are you going to do now? Stop them. Why? You gonna what? <laughs> Why stop him? I can stop him, talk to him, ask him how he doing, do we need any help, and then send him off with a better day. He obviously robbed my house for a reason, right? That's right. So you're supposed to give him your stuff. I can give him wisdom. No, no, no. You're we not know. supposed to resist evil. Y'all can't tell me what I can do. I'm just saying, I'm just telling you. Y'all asking me what I'm going to do, then y'all tell me what I'm going to do. Y'all can't do that. Now, y'all can ask me questions still. Though. What's up? Fam, so you gonna let him smack you up, and now he wants to go in your house and rob you and take all your your stuff. So you just combined two, it, two different scenarios. The first one you said no, dude smacking yeah, you, was like, all right, all right, yeah. The first one, right, yes, yes. So how can you combine those two if they had no correlation at all? 
So you just, now you're just making it seem like the dude just jumping me. No, the first situation, I can care less. The second situation, I'm going to stop him. Let's be honest with ourselves. Well, the, what we're saying, though, fam, is the book I understand is what y'all saying, but y'all not understanding what I'm saying yet. No, we get what you're saying because it makes sense. So. We we get we get why I'm you would stop sense. somebody breaking you into your house. We understand that. What we're but, saying is the character is telling you to not resist evil and to bless those who curse you. So breaking in your house would be an enemy coming against you. And we're, our point here is that you're supposed to be blessing that person for robbing you. Did I not? Did you not hear what I said? What I do with the person? You 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 gonna bless him? Isn't that a blessing to make that man change his life around? No, fam. Wow. What? <laughs> nah, what? you can't. So first of all, what? fam, just is it's it's a all right. Look, let's let's y'all are asking me scenarios about my life, and then y'all trying to put it back in the Bible. I'm trying to tell y'all real scenarios. What are y'all? I'm I'm confused on how y'all not getting what I'm saying yet. You saying basically, if somebody come and hit you, you just gonna let it go. You don't, you don't care. You gonna turn to him the other the other cheek also, right? I'm gonna sit there if he's trying to fight. I'll fight him for fun. But if a dude breaking my house, I'm gonna stop the Hold dude. On. If he wanna Hold talk, we gonna talk. If he trying to get down, we Hold gonna on. get down. Whatever happens, happens. You, wait a minute. You just are you gonna fight him or not, fam? Which one is it? Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> nah, brother, it can't be whatever happens. Right here, it's telling you resist you not evil. How can you say that? How can you say that? It's because right here, it's saying resist not evil. Whoever smites you on your right cheek, turn to him the other who also. Cares? But you just said that it says in the Old Testament, I for another. So who cares? No, no. Right. So, right. So, so the point I'm trying to make to you is yes, the Old Testament is saying you got a right to defend yourself, but the JC character who you follow. He's saying, now, what I say is, you turn the other cheek and you get beat up. This is what we sh what we showing you. It's a huge where, difference. Where does it say beat up at? Fam, if you letting somebody hit you in your right cheek and your left cheek, you get so beat you up. Can, you you can break down those words, but you can't break down my words. Come on, now. Your word? What are you talking about, bro? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, dude, it's it's just clear as day. I'm, I'm you, trying to be as clear as day, but I guess this is cloudy. I can't be. Okay, do so. Do you believe in the New Testament? I believe in the Bible. Okay, so those ver verses contradict. You see that, right? No, you don't see how defending yourself and not defending yourself are no, it contradictions. Fulfills. It fulfills. It fulfills. So not defending yourself is a fulfillment of defending yourself. Because you need to know what to do in the situation. I know what to do in the situation. Defend myself, but he's telling me but, to not but defend what, myself. What, how do you do? You know what's going on with the other person. Why I don't need to know if they're if they're exactly, if, exactly. If, like, according no, to the I, law, fam. Listen, the you're not, is, let, you hold on, fam. Just listen, just up. listen, fam. I've been listening. According to the law, you are supposed to defend yourself. According to this statement on the screen, you're not supposed to defend yourself. Those aren't fulfillments. Those are contradictions. You understand that, right? Why, why, I'm not making my life into a book. I'm making my the book into reality. That's no, it's a to... law, fam. We're talking about law. I don't understand book into reality. We're talking about the law, right? The law is we're what's We're talking written. about the word, right? We're talking about the word, right? The law. The words no, we're talking about the written. word. The law what was written the law? into words. The law is what? The law is what? The, the law is what? written. It is the, a written the, law. The word of what, though? The word of the Most High God. All right. And who is Jesus proclaimed to be? A liar. A liar. <laughs> okay, he, a liar. He's a liar. Fam. <laughs> you can't fam, go fam, the, fam. Law, the most high. Fam. The fam. The, the funny. Okay, you laughing, right? You laughing. But here's the big joke. Here, here's the big joke, brother. Here's the big joke. If he is the law, and this is the law, right? If he is the law, and he, you say, and this is the law here, he's changing the law. To tell you to basically get beat up. Whoever hits you, turn the other cheek now. So how could he be the law and now he's changing the law in the worst way to not even defend yourself? The original law was to defend yourself. Right. But now he's changing the law for you to actually get hurt, bro. That's right. what that's what we're saying. So how is he the law? Because look, it's it's for people like y'all that just take it so literally, right? It's more so understanding. Y'all don't understand it. I know because y'all are combated in my Bible. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like when I see if somebody 
Okay, look, I own the restaurant, right? Boom. I'm in the restaurant. If somebody breaks in and tries to rob the place, just on some, because there's a lot of people that just do stuff for do, like stupid stuff where I'm at, right? And so uh -huh. I walk in, I'm finna, I'm finna hurt him, if I'm being honest. To teach him a lesson, I'm finna hurt him, because God is just, and he's punished, right? He's gonna punish, right? He does things like this. So we have understanding of that, right? Boom. But then there is some other people who's actually walking in here, they'll just take something because they actually need it. And why would I just, just wail on their ass for no reason. You know what I'm saying? And so I can be like, hey, look, bro, don't do that again, but you can go ahead and have the stuff. It's a matter of understanding. So if you truly understand but what the Bible There's two different is, things, though, brother. That's, that's somebody no, stealing something versus somebody hitting you, fam. Versus no, somebody, no, no, versus somebody no, hitting you. This no, is not I about somebody stealing. I didn't say hit me. I said robbing the place. But Why? this is two different things, fam. This is, this is talking about no, somebody just straight no. hitting you. This is right. what we talk about, fam. I'm the, and what I'm talking about is outside of what that is talking about. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. I'm saying scenarios where bad things happen, you should have understanding of how to move in the situation. We have understanding from the law. This this exactly. this scripture exactly. here doesn't well, give us any that, understanding. That brings us back down the same rabbit hole is that Jesus is the law. And no, so he's then not, he because Jesus he's going the against he's, the law. It's the thing is, you don't believe he's him. He's going against the law. Okay, I'm he's not going family. against the law, fam. It's right there on the screen. You can't be the law and go against the law, fam. That's just like... It doesn't make any sense. That's like your have wicked you, government you, telling you to you do something been, and they doing the jail? opposite. Have you ever been to jail? Yes, I have. Yes. So in the courthouse, right? Has it have you, you going to court, have you ever just been excused of something that was against the law? No, I had to pay the Roman coin. Have you ever been let go of something that you should have been? Never. I always had to get paid. I always got taxed. Every time I had to pay the uttermost thing. Well, that's right. I, I, I don't know if that's because y'all don't know God, but. So I let mean, me give you, let me give you some extra. Let me give you. Uh, I keep uh, telling you, I don't want to use the yeah. Bible because we're just going to go tick for tack on the Bible. But see, that's why you can't. Well, that's why we brought you up here, fam. We brought you up here. I, what you mean? I came thought, up here to try to speak right. some sense into you. Speak yeah, some I'm, sense I'm, into us, fam. Speaking, I've been speaking in code the whole time. Y'all have yet to understand. Fam, fam, let me let me give you some wisdom on this, right? This is from the scripture. This is Isaiah stuff. twenty-six. Okay? No comparison to what I got. Worldly wisdom. We going into yes, scripture, fam. Wisdom. I'm sorry. We going so the so the scriptures is worldly wisdom. Your your thinking is worldly wisdom. I said scripture, fam. I said your thinking. Okay, let's let's get into the scripture. This is Isaiah twenty-six. This is a uh, verse ten, and it says, "You want to read that, Ron?" Yeah, I got you, fam. Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Most High. So we see right here, you can't let you can't show favor to the wicked because he's not going to learn righteousness. That's just like if you let somebody smite you on your right cheek and you turn to him the other also, he's not going to learn righteous. He's going to continue to do what he do. He's going to continue to evil. That's like if you let your child or your or your young sister or, or whoever that you look after do something evil and you allow them to do it, they're not going to learn, fam. They're going to continue in that behavior. But that's where we disagree. I believe that there's multiple ways any child can learn, whether it's punishment or if it's love. I mean, not not love is punishment, shit, but uh, whether it's punishment or it's kindness, whatever you want to call it. I feel the like is, all types of way. The point is, you can't show favor to a wicked person. That's like, you know, the government letting all the evil pedophiles and rapists out. And they say, okay, well, you did this fine. I'm going to just let y'all y'all go. You didn't rob, you didn't stole, you didn't killed, you didn't killed unalive so many people. So, hey, I'm going to just let y'all back out on the street. How does that happen? You say can't show favor to the wicked, right? Right. Does that mean, does that mean disregard the wicked? You can't show favor to the wicked. That, but does that mean disregard the wicked? Yes. 
No, yes. Does. Where does it say that? It? Not it showing say? favor. Not showing favor. Oh, Let- okay, but okay. So when at my restaurant, right, multiple races walk in, I show favor towards my race. What I don't I, that doesn't mean I disregard other races. I they just have to wait their turn, right? No, you're taking it somewhere else, fam. We're not no, talking I'm about making, races. I'm trying to get you to understand what God's trying to say. Fam, you t- you you're changing it to something else. You're saying races. No, we talking about somebody saying. doing something wicked to you, right? This is this no, is the context right here. Wicked people. You say don't show favor to the wicked. Right. You're not supposed to show favor to the wicked because they won't learn anything. That's the point, fam. That's the point. Like I said, you not if, if your child, you're not going to raise your child to, to uh, think that doing something wicked or evil is good. So when they do something bad, you're not going to say pat them on the back and say, hey, that was a good job. What you just did. You just smacked that other kid in the face and hey, that was perfect. Do that again. You're not gonna you're gonna chastise that whether you whether you talk whether you talk it to him or something. Why did you take it there for? Because that's the example I'm trying to give you. No, you're you're making the broad example over a little situation. It's way more simpler than that. I promise you it is. Okay, we just simplified it for you. We literally just just How do you answer me? How do you say it if you show no is that simple saying okay when the kids thing? When the kid smacks a kid, say, okay, that's good. Do it again. That sounds the, that's the dumbest shit I heard all day. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna, if I'm being honest, that's the dumbest shit I heard all day. Well, who the, who, who in their right mind would say that shit? I'm, I'm not trying to cuss, but that, that was just blatantly stupid. Fam, well, fam I'm trying to give you the smallest example for that you was to the understand. the biggest example for the littlest situation. I promise you. I promise you. Because you can't even understand what's happening I, you here. You can't bro. even understand my book. So how are you telling me about my book? I tried from your the beginning book? to not use scripture. At your all. book? Your book? Yes, my book. What do you mean your book? I don't know. Okay, my brother. Have a wonderful evening, okay? Hey, yo. All praises to the most high, man. Jeez. Wow. Whew. Wow. Okay. Um next testament. <laughs> testament, man. Scrambling yeah. brains since 70 AD. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, fam, you can hit that guest button and join if you feel we lost, man, and we can see where, where you at with it, okay? Because he just said he don't know. So right, that, he should say he don't know. So That was the smartest thing he could have said all night. I don't know. Okay, cool. You can't You can't profess to know something and then say you don't know. I mean, wow. Whoa. That's what I mean, man. We we try to really bring the simplest. Uh, it's just, yo. Okay, we're going to try to bring somebody else up, man. What's going on, fellas? What's going on? Peace to you. Peace to you. So, uh, what do you think is causing you to reject the gospel of Christ Jesus? The laws the law. of the Most High. You said the laws? The laws of the Most High God foundation so what what's what's the one law that's causing you to reject the gospel of christ jesus God before me. what was that the first commandment thou shalt have no other gods before me yeah the the new testament doesn't call christ another god it it does though it tells you that he's the lord and savior and he's a man. It, it doesn't. Really. It doesn't call him another God, though. It calls him one with God. Right, which is a lie, because the Most High is by Himself. Right. right. If he's one with God, that means God is one, so he's not another God. Right. He's by Himself, so that guy isn't one with God. He's just a man. No, and he's man, not a man. He was sent. He was sent from heaven. Men aren't sent from heaven. Where does it say he was sent from heaven? <laughs> In the New Testament. Okay, All over so, the place. Well, the I, Father the, sent the Son. Well, we're in the the Son in the Old Testament is Israel, right? And the Most High never speaks of this God no, no. in the Old Testament. No, the the firstborn Son 
is 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 the son of Christ, which is the nation of Israel. But the God in the Old Testament is Christ Jesus. That's that's that, who is speaking. That's that's false, brother. You don't see well, that's that's not true. You don't find well, we, his name in the Old Testament, brother. His name. Yes. What do you mean that Yahweh? I am. He, he literally told you before Abraham was. I am. I am is who spoke in the Old Testament. Okay, so once again, the God of Israel is not a man. He doesn't change. He doesn't justify the wicked, and he lives forever. JC was a man. Okay, all, all of that. JC died. All that described Christ. JC justified the wicked. Therefore, he's not the God of Israel. The God of Israel lives forever, and he's not a man. JC came as a man, and he died for Christian sins. Okay. No, nah, JC didn't come as a man. He came as the Word of God, who put on flesh. So he came as God. Right. So a man, right? Because he died and bled. Right. He did die. You do know that part of the story, right? Who the Word? The Word of God, who came, did not die. So you, 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 you're died. not aware that he died. <laughs> The flesh and blood died. So you're not aware that, okay, right, because he was flesh and blood, correct? <laughs> no, 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 no. The word, God, was sent from heaven. So he didn't, he didn't have flesh and blood when he was oh, sent. You just said the flesh and blood died. So who was the flesh correct. and blood that you're talking about? The flesh and blood was the body of the word. Okay, so JC, the son. right? So JC died. That's that's a lot of fancy things to say that JC died. And according to Revelation, JC is fully God, fully man. Well, he's not God because God's not a man. You see what I'm saying? That that's where you're draw. That's where the confusion is. The Most High God is not a holy man. man, but but he's not man by himself. He's God and man. God, no, God said he's no, not God man. No, God is just God. He's not man. He's just God. He's just God. the Lamb. Of Hosea Unfortunately, nine. We finna read it for you, fam. There's no need to argue. He's God and not man. Hosea and oh, For I am God and not man, the holy one in the midst of thee. So how does how's this the word putting on flesh? He's not a man. He's God. He's not fully man and he's not fully God. He's just fully God. Right. You see that? So he's God and not man. So anybody claiming to be a man so, or saying that they're the father is a liar. So that's not true. What was the lamb slain before the foundations of the earth? What's not true? That God is is not a man. It's not true that Jesus Christ is only a man. If God God says not a man, that means fully man. No, God is not fully man. No, you're right. But Jesus Christ is says, God. He came out of the word. God, God says, for I am God and not man. Not that I'm not fully man. What I am God way? and not man, fam. It's it's simple. Yes, I am God and not man. And, and, and plus the context of that is talking about creation. It's talking about men, Israel, talking about actual men. He's not saying that he is unable, all powerful, but he's unable to come to the earth and put on flesh. So you're limiting your God if you're saying he's not all powerful. No, 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 no. He's not saying that he come <laughs> put on flesh, fam. He's not saying that here. Okay, that's not but, the um, understanding here. But okay, but I'm I'm get I'm getting know that I'm getting that you you reject the New Testament as truth. Um, okay, so we can't use any of the words from the New Testament that clearly show that that God put on flesh. That's fine. Like First Timothy three sixteen that says God was manifest in the flesh. You see so we how can't that goes do that. against his words though. That directly right. So we, what the Most High is saying. He's saying he's God. So we only and use Old man. Testament. So, right. so we can only use Old Testament. Okay, cool. So, can you pull up Isaiah 48? 48 verse what? 16. I want you to tell me who, who's speaking here and who was sent. Come you want to handle this, brother? Go ahead, I'll, brother. I'll, let you know. I'll read it, fam. Come ye near unto me, hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning, from the time that it was. There am I. And now the Most High God and his Spirit have sent me. Who's speaking? Uh, I would have to read the chapters. It looks like the Most High. 
It says, the most high. Humble yourselves. Let me see. I even I have spoken. Yea, I have called him. I have brought him, and hey, he shall speak, make his way prosperous. Thus saith the Holy yeah. One of Israel. This, I'm, I'm confused. I know, I know, because because you reject that he sent Christ. Let me, let me, let well, me get it. Is nowhere in here, so you don't. That's why see. you're confused. No, I'm. JC is not in the book of Isaiah. So you can't tell me who's speaking. You can't tell me who's speaking because right. you reject so I'll, Christ. I'll, no, I'll just have to read it for a second, and then I can tell. Because okay, JC's uh, name's not so, in the so book. So first of all, first of all, I didn't say. I didn't say. I didn't say his name was in there. I asked you who's speaking. First, okay. first of all, first of all, calm down, brother. All right, calm I'm down. real calm. I'm so real calm. This, this is the calm. book. This is this is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah is the one sent. He's the prophet here. Okay. Oh, oh. Isaiah is the one speaking when he says, you, you, <laughs> Isaiah is the one that says, there I am. No, I said, his, his spirit years. have sent me. His spirit have sent me with the most high God has said. That means Isaiah was speaking previously when he says, I am from the beginning. So you're saying Isaiah was from the beginning? You're not understanding. The most no, high you're not, God you're not has given the correctly. word. The Most High God has given His Word to Isaiah, okay, to what share say that? With, with with Israel. This is the Book of Isaiah. Clearly, I know this is the okay, Word. Okay, okay. This is not no, but you're saying Isaiah is speaking there. God is speaking there. Again, not yes, Isaiah. Yes, yes, but Isaiah has been sent. The Most High no, God is no, using I no dude, incorrect. Dude, where, where where is JC here? Where's his name? I'm incorrect. To figure out incorrect. Where's his name here? here? Incorrect. You, incorrect. You, Isaiah all, is not speaking there. All, hold on, dude. You big and bold for JC. Where's JC's name anywhere in this, the Old first, Testament? We have to establish who's speaking first. Not we dude, past please, that. dude. 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 Where we is JC? We gonna make it no. very simple for you. Let's make it very simple. No, it's real simple you, for listen, you. Listen, First listen. You gotta establish Let's make it speaking. Simple. That's that's the listen. simplicity. The Most High gave the word. We know who's speaking. Okay. The Most High gave the word to his prophets. Okay. We know who's speaking. So show me in any who's of the speaking? Old Testament scriptures where JC's name is mentioned, because the Most no. High mentions names. Yeah, you, you got a faulty. You got a faulty premise. You said we know who's speaking, and you said that who's speaking is Isaiah. I want you to prove to dude, me how dude, Isaiah was from the, the beginning. Most High, yes, the Most High is speaking and has sent Isaiah. Okay. No, no, yes, you could just say that's Isaiah. clearly no, what no. it's saying. Incorrect. It's saying the Most High is speaking in the beginning. Come near unto me. Hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret. This is the Most High now. From the beginning, uh -huh. from the time that it was, there I am. There am I. Now here's uh -huh. Isaiah, dummy. And now what? the Most High God has here, no. That, 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 that that's what you. you're saying. You're no, saying dude, here's you're confused, Isaiah, bro. That's you what you're read, lying bro. about. You see the you're you're lying and saying you here's colon? Isaiah. Do that's you your lie. Do you that's know what lie. semicolon means in English? It doesn't mean someone you else is speaking. Do you? You don't, it don't mean someone else is speaking. Someone sir. else is yes. That's it not does, what a semicolon dude. means. Someone else is changing. It's changing speakers. That's not what a semicolon means. It's changing speakers. That's not what a semicolon means. Dude, Doesn't mean someone you else have starts no to talk. idea. What That's not what a semicolon means. means That's sir. exactly what. Then who's speaking? Then there are two different people speaking. No, you have no idea. So this is the same you, person. You, you, so you the obviously don't have reading comprehension. No, you don't so have brother. reading comprehension. So brother, so fan, so fan. So this is why we're swear that this is why the question to you is where in any of the Old Testament scriptures where the Most High makes mention of the of the JC's character of JC's name. He doesn't. I, did, I didn't say that the name of Jesus Christ was in the Old Testament. I never said that. No, but that but that's the question that I'm asking you, fam. I'm asking you. That. It's, I, I, the Most I'm, I'm High gives you, prophecy. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the name Jesus Christ is not in the Old Testament. That's clear. Why not? Why not? Who said it was? The Most High gives because names. Because it wasn't revealed in the Old Testament. The Most High gives names. The though. name he was given in. The Most High the name gives was names. Given to the, wow. No, fam. The name was given. The, the name most was given by angels the in the New Testament. He declares Let me give you an example. From the beginning, fam. Let me give you an example, right? Let me give you an example. Let me give an example of an end time prophecy given a name, right? So you can see who's going to, how the most I speak, right? Nah, I'm good. So I'm good, y'all. 
Y'all said Isaiah is God, so I'm straight on that. You y'all said y'all Isaiah, be is Isaiah is God. God. No, we didn't. Yeah, you're is God. We said the Most High's word is was given to Isaiah because he's the prophet, dude. That's what we're saying. saying that, we, that, we that, never that, say that Isaiah is God. There, no, dude. no, that that last word there, me. You're saying that me, that that last word, dude. In the right verse, here me, at the end, it says, Isaiah. "Listen, listen." It says, "And now the Lord God and His Spirit have sent me." And yes. now the Who Lord God, the whole time? so the Most High is not talking about Himself. Have sent Himself. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! So again, it's the Son of again. God speaking. It's the Word of God speaking. Again, no, it's not. The Word of God is speaking in the whole Old Testament. The whole thing is the Word of God speaking, dude. That's why <laughs> in Daniel seven, you can see that the Ancient of Days comes to the Son of Man. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Let's deal with that. Because you dang sure can't deal with Isaiah 48, bro. Dude, you don't, Isaiah is the me. you don't understand simple reading. You, you really you me. really think Isaiah and, is the me and, and, and right there. That is, makes and, no and this sense, is why, bro. And this is why JC's name is not mentioned at all. It ain't for no that reason. No most sense, but you just prophecy. called Isaiah God. Okay. You called Isaiah I didn't God. Call, yo, first of all, stop saying something that I didn't say. Yes, and you if said it wasn't, Isaiah is the me. If it wasn't clear, and if it wasn't clear, I said the Most High gave his word to Isaiah the prophet. He's the prophet. He's that's giving not him the, the word. That's, not that's the what argument. I said. We're not talking. What do you mean that's not the argument? I'm telling you what I said. Yeah, and if you didn't understand me, listen, Look, if you didn't understand me, I'm making it clear listen, for you. Okay? That's not the argument. We, we agree me, on I'm making that. It clear for you. Okay? I'm making that's it clear. That's not the argument. We okay? agree on that. So, no, we don't agree on that because you're saying something else. Yes, you telling do. me, you telling me, JC, JC is not there. He's we not there. We agree on the fact. We agree on the fact that God, this is Isaiah who was penning this. Isaiah is saying these, these are the words of the Lord, and this, and God is speaking. The voice that Isaiah is writing, Ooh, you don't is understand God's words. God Let's speaking. Let's do it chapter person. seven. Let's do, you're let's saying do, that all of a sudden it goes from first person to second person. That's incorrect. Let's do, let's do let's do with Daniel chapter nine, chapter seven. That's about JC, right? It's about the father and the son. Okay. Let's deal with that. Fam, should I bring it up in the Holy Scriptures or I'll bring it up on the screen? Uh, bring it in the Holy Scriptures, fam. Okay. Because the KJV be a little tweaky. So I'm going to bring it up in the Holy Scriptures so we could just look at that real quick. All right? Uh, one second. I got to get some gas right quick, so I'm going to go on mute. All right, cool. Wow, sirs. Okay, Daniel chapter 7. Okay, here we go. All right, you let me know when you're ready, fam. And we'll 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 jump back. We'll jump back into that. I got Daniel seven uh, set. My man said that is J J C is the word of God. That's the biggest delusion out here, fam. Big delusion, fam. Big delusion. His name is nowhere in the Old Testament, but yet it's all talking about him. That's a foolish concept. A big foolish concept. And the Most High declares the end from the beginning, so <laughs> he would have mentioned him. Exactly, fam. Exactly. Let me let me bring that forward too as well while I'm here. I'll be right back, fam. All right, no problem. So 
Israel, y'all know I always show this a million times, and this is so important to understand, man. Isaiah 46 and 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and all my pleasure will I do. So we know from right here, the Most High already declared how it was going to end from the beginning. So if this character is true, then we would be able to see his name somewhere in the end time prophecy. Okay. Let me get an example of that. Matter of fact, I'll wait till the brother come back on. Let me bring somebody else in. Fam, you could come back on when you when you when you get when you get back, man. Hey, hello, man. Hello. Hey, it was good. So I heard you before talking with the other dude about how you were saying that the most high changes his mind. And I just wanted to come on here and comment real quick that I said the most high changes his mind about what? You you were saying that because give me one second. Hold on. I don't remember saying nothing about the most high changes mind. But um because in the New Testament, you're saying that Jesus contradicts himself in the New Testament to the Old Testament, right? JC is speaking against the laws. Okay, yeah, I, okay. The Old Testament law was given to the people for that time, and even in the Old Testament, it says that a new law will come. Does it not? So that's 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 false because the, the they didn't say it was given for them at the time, and that was just going to be. But, it. but it does it not say that a new law will come though? No, it doesn't say a new law would come. It never says a new law would come. It says his, a renewed covenant would come, and the, the, the covenant would, would be the law still. It would be the same law. Nothing changed. So it never, it never said a, a new law is going to come. It never says that. Yeah, you won't find that anywhere in Scripture. Yeah, not even when it when it speaks about the new covenant coming, it it's the same law. But now the laws are going to be put in their inward parts. That's Jeremiah 31, uh, 31 and down. It never says nothing about a new law is going to come. What, what, what people don't understand is that Israel is in captivity. His chosen people are scattered among the nations, right? So the world doesn't understand that. All the world knows is this person in the New Testament. They don't know the prophecies concerning God's chosen, God's children. And that's and that's the problem right there. Exactly. They have no understanding of the law of the Most High. Um, that That's honestly why they believe that he came in flesh or whatever they believe, because you're, you're, you're deceivable. You're not studying the commandments. The first and most important commandment is to have no other gods. Right. So that alone right there, the, the, the Christianity's in idolatry. Yeah, definitely. You know, that's the point that we, we're trying to explain and show to the people. You're not following the God of Israel. You're not following his laws and you don't know who his people are. So by default, you're in a delusion. The New Testament book, because the Old Testament don't speak of this character. At all. At so, all. So it's like, how is how has he spoken so much in the New Testament? Everybody knows who he is. But nobody knows who he is in the Old Testament. Nobody speaks of him. Nobody utters his name. And none of the end time prophecies, which are actually in the beginning of the book, the foundation, the Old Testament, they don't speak of him at all. Facts. And, he's, and, and, and he doesn't speak of the God of Israel in the New Testament. Exactly. He doesn't speak of the, the, the most the God of Israel and the God of Israel doesn't speak of him. That should be clear right there. 
So the New Testament is plagiarizing the old, is ripping off the old and giving you a, a fictitious story. That's what people don't understand. You there? Hello? Yeah, I'm here, fam. Can you hear me? No, I hear you. I I got you. I'm talking about the other person that's that was there. I, I don't know what so happened. I'm trying to understand, like, so what religion or what do y'all follow? We follow the Most High, the so Law, Statutes, like, and Commandments. The, the the old what they call the Old Testament. That's what was given to Israel. Nothing else was given to Israel but His laws. Okay, so what do y'all think about like how Jesus came and he died and how he resurrected. And there, there's definitely. Hello? Hello? Yeah, he kind of went out for a second out. He kind of oh. cut off. I don't know what's going on. You there, Ron? Yeah, I'm here, fam. And it, okay. uh, I, I don't believe he was saying too much of nothing. Um, the New Testament is a false book. It goes against the laws of the Most High God. Brother, can you bring out 2 Kings 17, 37? Okay. Real quick. We're sheep. We follow a false God. And the statutes and the ordinances and the law and the commandment which he wrote for you, you shall observe to do forevermore and ye shall not fear other gods. So the commandments, the laws and the statutes are forever. It wasn't for them back then. It's forever. Period. Forever, man. It ain't old people say like he just said it was given for them at that time. It's forever. It's forever, man. It, it, it doesn't change. Okay. Facts. The law of the Most High God stands forever. And the prophecy concerning his people, okay, which is concerning the, the children of Israel, is that no man is going to save them. That's right. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in the darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Come there on. There you go. No man huh. is going to save you. How is so, that contradicting uh, the, Jesus? Because the New Testament is telling you somebody, a man is going to save you. A man He's is coming not to saying that Jesus is a man. He is a man. Why don't y'all understand that? Can you go to Matthew <laughs> chapter one, verse one? What is wrong with the Christian man? It's, this is the first. This is the what the New Testament is saying before. about Jesus is that just, he just wait, was just wait, brother, he just was wait, before the foundations wait, of the just, earth. Just it does wait. say that. Just wait, brother. The book of the generation of J.C., the son of David, the son of Abraham. How is he not a man? It's a book of generations about the son of David, the son of Abraham. How is he not a man? He, his flesh, yo. Oh, God. His flesh if was If he's man, flesh, he's man, man, bro. Okay, so do you think that God can do anything? He's not doing something foolish. We know that. We understand that from the law. Okay, okay. Okay, so you don't think that God can do something that maybe you think is foolish, but you don't know what God thinks. So how are you going to say that? Oh, how we don't know what God, God thinks him? if he already said what he going to do in the foundation. If he gave, if he okay. said, every, look, 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 hold on for a second, right? If the Most High gave prophecies, what do you think those are? Tell me and tell me who he's talking about in Isaiah seven fourteen. 714 is the child Emmanuel who was assigned for Ahaz.
And once again, that child was a man. So the most high God is God and not man. Uh, Christians, we are not limiting the most high God. We are merely reading what he has said and he is not a liar. So we're not limiting him. We're telling you what he said. What he's not going to do is come as a man. He's already said, he's made that clear. He's God and not man. So, and he's already told you, you're cursed for following a man. So why would he come as a man? Right. It's not saying that no, nowhere in the Old Testament does it say he's not, I will not come as a man. It doesn't say that. He says he's Go distinguishing himself Hosea, from man. He's not saying that I will not come as a man. Hosea, it's important to read context. Yeah, Can you go and see what he's saying before that? <laughs> My man said it's important to read context. Wow, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they for get bold into. <laughs> for I am God and not man, the holy one in the midst of thee, and I will not enter into the city. For I am God and not man. You see of that? Of course. Yeah. God is not man. Jesus was before the foundations of the earth. He said this. He's a man. He's a man, bro. Okay. Can a okay, can a man do miracles? Can a man sure, raise from the dead? Yeah, can a man raise from the dead? I've seen all types of magic tricks, fam. Haven't you watched David Blaine or Chris Angel? Come on. I watch I okay. watch Chris Angel walk okay. on water. Can a man raise from the dead? Listen, JC what, didn't what do, do any that? of those things in the New Testament, okay? He didn't it's, do it's any It's not of just the New Testament, it's well documented in history. It's not documented in history, fam. What's documented is that he never existed, okay? There's plenty wait, of scholars. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Y'all think Jesus never existed? Y'all being serious? Absolutely. So, yo, all you have to do is look up extra biblical sources for Jesus, and you'll find that. Notable historical figures in that time mentioned Jesus. He just, yeah, I think Jesus is just a myth. Source? Yo, this is funny. Can you show him the Joseph Atwell biblical source? Uh, so he yeah. can get a Caesar's Messiah biblical source. You might want to get this, man. It's called Caesar's Messiah, the Roman conspiracy to invent uh, JC, man, by Joseph Atwell. You might want to check that out. And it's a documentary that you can actually uh look on watch on youtube that it give you a great history that jesus as a human being never existed yeah so you might want to check that out fam <laughs> shows me like yeah. a clip of a white guy saying jesus never existed so <laughs> we just i mean we just showing you that <laughs> there is documentation proving that this this character is a okay so okay, person, okay so right? i'm not gonna, i'm not gonna read the book so can you just tell so, me what is the premise of what you're saying what did the book is saying the book is saying exactly what this is saying right here. The Roman conspiracy. Why, why, why would they want to Jesus. invent Jesus? Why? For power and control. That's why you pay your taxes. That's why you pay your insurance. That's why you, you submit to whatever they say to do. Because they're in power, dude. You, you ain't realize that yet? There are people that's ruling. What does that have to do with Jesus? How it's Jesus their creation of rome that's why they holding up the, the 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 pope is holding up the cross it's their creation here's another book you might want to get called uh the conquest of the new world american holocaust when christopher columbus came they came with the idol and they raped robbed murdered and slaughtered people in the name of jc forcing them to worship the, the pope so you got to know okay the history to understand Okay, okay you that's completely history. contradictory to anything that Jesus says, though. Like, that has nothing to do with Jesus. Okay. Jesus didn't okay. say anything about going and killing people for some power. He said, I hate your parents. Did you know that? Okay, let's get the context of that verse. The context. Go to Matthew 10, 34, fam. Because okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you the context. Jesus is not saying to we deliberately hate your parents that's not we're gonna, what we, we gonna get you some precepts brother yeah we're gonna get you some precepts fam now, this is the words of jc think not that i am come to send peace on earth i came not to send peace but a sword for i am come to set a man at variance against his father and a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law 
and a man's foes or enemies shall be they of his own household. Okay, I now what he's talking. All right, all right, now, no, all right, now, allow me to explain. Done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Oh, not done. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm not done, fam. Now pair that with Luke 14 26. Luke 14, let's get that real quick. These uh -huh. are New Testament precepts. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother, wife and children, brother and sisters, yeah, even his own life cannot be my disciple. So when you pair those two together, he's telling you to hate your parents and that he's come to set you against your own family. And the reason he is saying that is not because he's saying to actually have hatred for your family, but to not because so look. If I believe in Christ, right, and then my mom or my dad doesn't believe in Christ, what it's saying is that now they are your enemy because they're children of the devil. It's not okay. saying to actually hate your mother and father. Can, can you go to Exodus 20 and 12 so we can get what the Most High God has set, told us to do? Gotcha. Honor thy father and mother that thy days be long upon the land which the Most High giveth thee. So what does this mean? Honor is obvious, honor my father and mother. So why is this obvious, but I need an explanation for when he's telling you to hate your mama and daddy? Hello? You right. there, fam? Because he's contradicting the most high God's law. Okay. That, that's what he's telling you to do right there. <laughs> he's Googling more ammo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Now, Google ain't going to save you now. <laughs> yeah. What you mean? I'm not. Yeah. What, what you mean? Why are you saying Google? I was reading the comments, man. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, we wait so, for you to respond, though. Yeah, I already, I already said that's not what that's not what that verse is saying. When Jesus says to hate your mother and your father, is is he saying that because you believe in me and you are a, a child of the Most High God, that if your mother or your father or anyone who lives in your household is against that then they are now your enemy but he also says to love your enemy so he's not he's not actually saying to have <laughs> literal hatred for your mother <laughs> so i'm supposed to hate my family and love my enemies okay so you all right. you see what i'm did, saying did, did, did you not get anything not just said okay I'll, I'll because explain. you because what i'll you explain say. it again i'll explain it again okay go ahead i he's saying to believe in him you believe in him you are a child of god Anyone else is a child of the devil, according to him. So now so, they are your enemy, but, but he's saying but, to also love your enemies. So why is he coming to bring a sword and not peace? I thought the Messiah, he was supposed to be the Prince of Peace. Why is he bringing a sword and not peace? I don't know too much about that. I will have to like do more. Well, that's the thing, fam. He's, he's, so there's actually... In context, he's telling you that you need to forsake your family in order to be his disciple, right? Yes. That's why we got both of the verses for you, right? He's telling you that he's come to bring a sword, not peace, and he's come to set man at variance, variance meaning against, right? So he's come to set man against his father and daughter against her mother, right? The Most High God hates that, right? He hates people who causes discord amongst their brethren. And we've already gotten a commandment to honor our mother and father. So really, however you want to chop it or screw it, don't really matter because we already have the law of the most high and he's speaking contrary to the law. You see that? Yes, but the way I just explained it, it's not contrary. God has enemies. He always has. Just because somebody's in your family doesn't mean that they can't be your enemy enemy in a spiritual sense not a literal enemy that you have to go and kill so why is he telling me to hate my parents though because he's speaking from a spiritual sense he's not literally saying oh hate your mother and your father like you have to actually hate them 
But that's what he literally said. He did. What you're saying isn't in the verse. What 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 I'm saying is in the verse, right? You're saying that it means this, that, and the other, but that's nowhere in the chapter. What it's actually saying is to hate your parents. You you won't find anywhere in Luke chapter 14 where he's telling you to hate them if they don't love me or hate them if they're not serving me. No, he just says okay, but hate okay, them. and that's what I'm saying. If you read the entire New Testament, he he does speak in this way. That he's well, not, that it doesn't Testament. explain every little thing that he's going to say. Well, I just gave you two precepts from Matthew and Luke. So I'm showing you that we're studied. We're showing you that we know what he said. And neither one of these confirm what you're saying, right? These verses confirm the fact that he wants you to hate your family. It doesn't confirm that. He said he came not to send peace, but a sword. So he didn't even come to get to make everyone get along. He's telling you he's come to set a man against his father which is sowing discord amongst brethren, which according to Proverbs chapter six, okay, I believe verse 16, the most high God hates that. He hates people who sow discord. And let me ask the brother, right? Isn't hate the opposite of love? Right? Hate would be the opposite of love, right? Complete opposite. Brother, you there? Hello, you there? You there? Hello, you there? Y'all yeah, can't hear me? Yeah, we couldn't hear you for a second. The question oh, is, right. isn't is it hate the opposite of love? Yes. Okay, so when you jump down, right, just the next verse. You read that, Ron? Yes, sir. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. You see that? So he's literally talking about hating your parents, hating your family. And if you love them more than him, you're not worthy of him. So, yes, he's talking about the literal hate. OK, so OK, so who do you love more, your, your mother or God? Well, he's not God. He's a man. Okay, 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 but you're using that to say that he's preaching hate. He's not preaching hate by saying that you but, should love but, but him but more than your command, parents but, or your but children. The Most High, do you know how you love the Most High God? By keeping his commandments. Yeah. So to, to honor your father and mother is to love the Most High, not to hate them. That's how you love the Most High God, by honoring them. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So when you said, dude, yeah, I, I love my mother. Uh, I love the most high, but I'm not going to hate my parents, though. You know what I'm That's, saying? Like, I'm, yeah, like, no, I, I, I get what you're saying, but you're not you're, you're taking that face value. Everything, you know, even in the Old Testament, everything cannot be taken. at just face value. I mean, you can take it out of context from the Old Testament too, and try to paint him like he's some evil monster guy that just goes around killing people. You could do that for the Old Testament too, like fam, fam. We just showing you exactly what's what's being. I see, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So and, and the what, same thing for the Old Testament. And and what's being said, and what's being said is against the law, because he's telling you in order to follow him, you gotta hate somebody. You gotta hate your. You gotta hate your fam. You gotta hate your mother and your father. When the Most High God said, "Honor your mother and your father." He didn't say the most high God ain't say uh uh hate your parents and follow me. Come on. He just said he's he, the only thing he said in the law is that Jesus if you're your Jesus father, is not saying that you have to hate him. To he says follow. you have to to hate him. You, he's saying you have to hate them in order to be his disciple. Yes, it's right here. If any man come come to me and hate not. So that means you have to if any man come to me and hate not his father, mother, wife, children, brethren, sister, yeah, and his own life, he cannot be my disciple. So that's a requirement. You got to hate your family, even yourself, just to follow him. Why would that be a requirement? That's not, I, I see what you're saying, but that's not what he actually means. Well, that's what you oh, don't want okay. it to mean, but where's what he's he also says, says love, he also says love thy neighbor, right? Which he tells you to love your enemy, right? And he also tells you to bless those that curse you, 
Yeah, the, okay, these are great ethical teachings. That's not. That's not a great ethical teaching. <laughs> that you, you think loving your enemy is a great ethical teaching? <laughs> okay, so do you think you should you should hold hate in your heart? Do you think that that's a good thing to hold? Brother, in your heart? we are commanded to hate evil and love good. So I love. Okay, good. yes, hate. Okay, hate evil. So why hate, am I loving? Hate the so person. Why, so no, no, so okay, why listen. now is he what commanding Jesus me is to saying love is evil people? Hate evil that the people are doing don't hate the act them as a person he didn't tell you to hate evil he told you don't resist evil right he did not right. say don't to, to hate the evil. he told you to hate your parents he told you to not resist evil and to love your enemies all of that is contrary to the most high god that's right he says that in the old testament and I know you're not you're gonna say that he, 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 he it's he not tells, the same God, but he tells it, me to hate my parents in the old testament. You're gonna have no, to show me that. To hate evil. Right. He tells me to hate evil. JC tells me don't resist evil. You see right here? Verse 39. But I say unto you that ye resist not evil. So you're not supposed to resist evil, according to JC. Right. Yeah, you know. I, yeah, I, I, mean, I see what y'all are saying, but I feel like y'all taking verses out of context. If I had like more, you know. Nah, brother the fan, we're not taking it out of context. We're trying to show you what you're really looking at, what you are turning away from it. Because you say you see, but yet in your heart, you want to hold on to that Christian faith that believes in this delusion. When we're showing you with a magnifying glass, brother, look what's being said. It's not right. And in no way, shape, or form in the context. And we're not going to add and say, well, maybe he was saying this, or maybe he was saying that. No, we're looking directly at the text and what's being said. And when you examine the text for what it is, not for what we want to uh, interpret as maybe he's saying this. No, when we look at it for what it's being said, it's not right according to the most high God in his law. And that's what we're showing. Okay, look, now I'm, I'm going to say this last thing and then I'm going to go. What okay. that verse is saying is, th this is what I'm saying, bro. Jesus speaks in like analogies and parables. Everything that he say cannot be taken at face value. And I said the same thing about the Old Testament. Do, wait, do you not agree with that? Like if you take certain so, verses from the Old Testament, it'll look like it'll paint God as some evil monster that just wants to kill people. So right here is this a parable or is this face value okay, okay, okay. i'm gonna ex i'm gonna explain what he's saying what jesus is saying in that verse is evil evil is going to be done to you but it's not worthy of a response like you don't need to just like okay like for example if somebody is mocking you or something like that or you know, just doing anything, we're not anything evil, because I do think that um, God is okay with self-defense. I don't, that whole um, turn the other cheek thing, that, it's not literal is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not literal? <laughs> he quoted the law. No, not literal. Did you read verse 38? Yeah, it's right there. So so what does he mean by you uh, You have heard that it has been said in eye for eye, tooth for tooth? What, what is he talking about? Oh, he's quoting the Old Testament. Okay. Now, he's quoting the Old Testament. So if we go look at the Old Testament where he's quoting, right? That's uh, Leviticus 24, 19 and 20, right? If we just examine that, right? Let's just use a little bit of common sense. So he's quoting from this right here, and it says, uh, you want to read that, Brother Ron? Yes, sir. And if a man calls a blemish in, a, in his neighbor, as he have done, so shall it be done to him, breach for breach, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. As he have caused a blemish in a man, so shall it be done to him again. So this is the God of Israel speaking, giving his law, saying, basically, if somebody smites you or hit you or whatever, they do all right whatever a, a, a man does to his neighbor as he have as he have done so shall it be done to him basically and then it goes into the eye for eye two for two so this is what jc is quoting here when in verse 38 he says you have heard that it has been said eye for eye two for two 
Where did we hear that? We heard that from the law. So this is literal now. So then verse 39, now he says, but I say unto you. So he's changing the most high God's word now. You know you're supposed to hit back, basically. But I say unto you, don't resist that evil. Whosoever hits you basically on your right cheek, turn to him the other also. Basically get beat up. Forget what the most high God said, the God of Israel said. Now I say unto you, allow somebody to hit you. And that's what's happening right here. So it's not a parable. It's taking God's law, what he originally said, and now saying, this is what I'm telling you to do now. Do you understand? Yeah, I see what y'all saying. Yeah, so nah. it's, it's changing God's, it's changing the most high God's word. Yeah, no, nah, I, look, I see what y'all saying, but I do still believe that if you read the entire New Testament, you- We have, it, brother. Yeah. We have, okay. family. And we okay, and this thing you don't see that thing. sometimes Jesus speaks and he's not being literal. Fam, there's so yeah, many other this time he is. Yes, this time but, he is. But 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 this time he is. Why but this time? Because he's quoting the law. Right. You see, he's quote he's quoting an actual law on self-defense and then telling you to not defend yourself. That's not a parable. That's not a metaphor. That's not an analogy. That's not any of that. Okay. That's just a lie. He's telling, he's quoting the law and then he changes the law. Okay. And that's, that's a sin in and of itself because we're not, com we're commanded to not add or take away from the law. Yes. Let me show that to you. That's Deuteronomy four, uh, verse two, JC break, he's breaking the law right here. You shall not add unto the words which I command you, neither shall you demand. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, I know it says that. I know it says that. So that's what I'm Look, saying. So, nah. so you can't you can't say that it's not literal if he's quoting the literal law and then trying to change it. You see what I'm saying? Even, he, even if it's a parable, it would be a wicked parable, right? Right. I mean Right. I See that you see, you see, brother. This is what Christianity does to you, right? It take it takes your 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 common sense, right? Something telling you, man, this is not right, but yet you want to hold on. This is the problem, right here. We showing you something that's literally not right, but yet it's just like, nah, I guess nah, I can't believe that, and it's right here. It's just like, you know, like your government is putting poison in your food and we don't want to believe it, but it's right there in the label. <laughs> and we don't want to nah, believe it. I got you. 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 Yeah, you laughing because you understand I'm saying nah, something. Nah, yeah, I, nah, I, I get it. I, I, I see what y'all trying to say. It's, it's not was, right, like, my brother. That's listen, what we... Listen, I wish I was like more educated. I got to read my Bible. Bro, you are yeah, educated. Yeah, 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 you I got it. Read. You yeah, yeah, I got it. Brother. I don't agree with y'all, but look, look, but look, you gave me something to think about. So, for well, sure, can we, show, can we show you one more? Can we show you yeah. one more before you go, yeah. fam? Okay, fam, you want to show him where he? Uh, which one? Gosh, man, there's so many. Yeah, there's so many. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh let me see. Broke the Sabbath, maybe, or um, you can go with anyone, honestly. Okay, uh, man, would that be a good one? The Sabbath, yeah. yeah, let's bring this Sabbath up, man. Okay, or let me see what else I got over here. We got that, we got uh, okay, let's okay. All right, all right, all right, I'm, 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 I'm gonna let y'all read it and then I'm gonna just ask you one more thing and I'm gonna go. But I, I but I know I do see what y'all saying now. I do, I do, I do see it, I do. Okay, let's deal with this one right here. Um, forgiving iniquity and sin. So let me just point this one out. And then, yeah, let me, let's bring this forward, fam. This is Exodus 34. Okay, and the Most High passed before him and proclaimed the Most High, the Most High God, merciful and gracious, long suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. So, right there, the Most High God, he's the one that forgives iniquity and transgression, right? This is the law, this is the foundation. He's the one that does this, right? 
Now I'm going to show you Daniel understood that. This is Daniel chapter 9, verse 9. To our, or excuse me, to the most high our God belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. You mm. see that? So to the most high God belong mercies and forgivenesses only to him. And you learn that in the foundation. He's the one forgiving iniquity and transgressions and sin. So now in the New Testament, this is Mark chapter two, verse uh, five and seven. When J.C. saw the faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, Why do if this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but only but God only? You see that? Beautiful. Yeah, I do, but I also I th I think it's clear that the New Testament explains that Jesus says that he is before the foundations of the world and that he came from his throne in heaven to earth and that he has a flesh nature and a spirit nature and his flesh died on the cross, not his actual spirit. But the most high God and, and so so what that's saying is that he is he is God, but but, but the Most not. High God speaks against that right here. Yeah, are my witnesses say of the Most High and my servant whom I have chosen that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am He. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I even I am the Most High, and there is no and beside me there is no Savior. You see that this is Isaiah forty three. Mm -hmm. So the Most High is 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 letting you know, sp speaking to Israel, you are my witnesses because he's the one uh, he appeared to them in the foundation. He says, before me, there was no God form. Neither shall there be after me. I am the Most High. And beside me, there is no savior. He's taking credit for himself and letting you know there is no one else. Even in Isaiah 46, real quick, verse nine, he says this right here. Remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none else. For I am God and there is none like me. You see that? Mm -hmm. Now hit up Isaiah 44 and 24, fam. Yeah, yeah, one more, bro, and I actually got to go. Got you, fam, right here. Thus saith the Most High, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Most High that maketh all things, that stretch forth the heavens alone, that spread abroad the earth by myself. So the Most so High God didn't have nobody with him. In a nutshell, fam, it's him alone okay. yeah. by himself. He is okay, the God. Yes, but yes okay, okay, I believe that God is one, but... But you choose to reject the words of the God of Israel. No. Because if you're following and believing the New Testament, that's exactly what you're doing. You're believing those thoughts. You're okay, believing so in the thoughts of the New Testament. You're not believing what thus saith the Most High already said. That's the point. And Jesus man. said he's one with the Father, though. Like, this is not. But, but see, the problem is, is the problem is, the problem is, fam. The Most High God, the God of Israel, he doesn't speak of that person you believe in. Neither does this person, J.C., speak of the God of Israel. The God of Israel does never mention J.C.'s name, and J.C. never mentions the God of Israel. Right. There, there's mentions to Jesus in the Old Testament, but no, I have to. No, 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 no. There is. I, I've seen it, bro. Yeah, I've seen it. It doesn't say his name. It doesn't say his name. It doesn't say his so name. So if his now, hold on, hold on. So by the rule, if you were in a court of law and you were trying to say that a piece of scriptures of, or, uh, or uh, 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 a piece of text is about someone, all right, and their name isn't in it, you wouldn't, you realize that wouldn't stand in the court of law, right? You have to have a name there. The Most High mentions names. He, he declares the end from the beginning. So yes. if he declares the okay, end. Okay, but if it perfectly describes the person, then it would hold some value. Declaring that it, 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 it isn't in, in, a, in a court of law, it doesn't always need to say somebody's things name things that are not yet for something done. to be true. Saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. You see how he declared the end from the beginning? So, if this guy was going to be mentioned, he would have mentioned him in the Old Testament. 
his name is not there. And if he's supposed to be the most important person, then the Most High would have mentioned him. But what does he say? He says, I am God and not man, right? He says that I don't change. He says that his law is forever, right? So if we have all this understanding in the Old Testament, why do you think the New Testament, speaking against the law, and this man dying for, for the sins of the world like no man can, how do you think that's the same God? It's not. The God of Israel has laws and rules. The New Testament is going against the laws and the rules. And the understanding. The original understanding was the Most High alone. Alone. That's it. No one else. By and he's, he's a jealous by myself, and he's a jealous God. That's just like they understood that. That's why they got punished. And that's why the first law that was given was, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Exodus uh, 20 and 3. He's a jealous God. He's not putting somebody else in his place and definitely not man, not no man. That's why he says, cursed be the man that trusteth in man. Jeremiah 17 and 5. Facts. Can you bring in 40, Isaiah 42 and 8? All right. Well, y'all have a going, man. We just trying to give, like, you know, give yeah, you this nah. wisdom, brother. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Nah, That's I it. Man. I, I, I wish I was. I wish I was more equipped with the word so I can actually give it to y'all. I I do remember when the other guy was up here. I don't know where he went, but it was, I think it was talking about um I forgot. But y'all were saying that um the semicolon means that somebody new is talking, and right you, it like, was yeah yeah what in the book of Isaiah was that I I remember and I was I was just like what it's obviously well, well, saying, we're, we're, it's we're, obviously we're, still God well, talking. It, I, it didn't just switch to what it was at Isaiah. Or, I don't remember. Prince, but. Prince, Prince, you clearly don't have an understanding of Scripture, right? Because you 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 think things are parables that are not. So just 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 listen to what we're saying. I am the Most High. That is my name, and my glory will I not give to another. Neither my praises to graven images. The Most High God doesn't share His glory. So if He's not sharing His glory. How is JC in the New Testament now getting all the glory? Come on. Come on, man. He is one with the Father. Like, y'all saying this is not proving anything to me. So you don't understand that JC right. is telling you that he's not God in the New Testament? You don't have that basic concept of Scripture? He says, I'm the beginning and the end, and Alpha no, and Omega. He, he, said, he says that he's not good, for there is only one good but God. That's so he's not God. That I believe that's his flesh speaking. That wasn't his. That that his was his flesh speaking? speaking. That was his flesh speaking. That yeah. Okay, so he sometimes speaks speaks in the flesh, and he sometimes speaks in the spirit. So how do I know the difference when he's speaking in the flesh and in the spirit? By what he's saying. Know? By what oh. he's saying. Oh okay okay. Thus say if the most. Nah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, you're gonna leave me here for hours, bro. I got it. It's yeah. cool, fam. It's it's I'm cool, okay. fam. Uh, you, what you should do is study, man. Okay, that that's basically what we're saying too, because it's apparent that you don't know the OT or the laws, and that's going, you know, that's that's going to get you caught up, man. You should read uh, Psalm chapter one. All right, have a wonderful night, fam. All right, you too. We're sheep. We follow a false god.